Hey, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Pettivich here. Happy Wednesday. It is very warm today. It'll be very warm tomorrow, but we're keeping an eye on the weekend, obviously, and the risk for rain and cooler temperatures. We could see a couple strong storms on Thursday, but overall, the risk is relatively low. Let me show you the setup right now. We'll show you the wider view here. You can see the big front heading our way. And yes, that is the cold front that is going to bring us some rain and cold temperatures for the weekend, but it is moving painfully slow. You can see the tornado watch is ahead of it. And there is a pretty big severe weather risk today across the middle of the country. I'll show you the day one outlook here. I'm going to turn off the uh, satellite data there. You can see the, the medium to high risk along the front and then that low risk uh, basically coming up to eastern Tennessee. Tomorrow, that risk right now is relatively low again as it moves into the Carolinas. Um, we could see this expanded, but overall, the risk is low tomorrow. It's not zero. Let me emphasize that, but it is very low because the front's going to be running out of steam and kind of stalling across the area. So let's get into the, the future cast of this as this thing pushes off to the east and what we're going to expect. Because what you're going to see here is definitely a lot of warm air surging up ahead of this system and cold air on the back side. Let me quickly show you the temperatures because I want to show you just how cold the air is behind that front and how warm it is ahead of it. So there is a lot of cold air. I'll quickly turn on uh, the temperatures here. And you can see we're in the 70s and 80s in a lot of locations ahead of that front with a lot of cold air behind it. So that's what's heading our way um, going into tomorrow and especially into the weekend. So. Let's take a look at that future cast. All right, we're jumping right into the future cast here. There's our front at 10 a.m. this morning. We're already kind of past that. We'll go into the afternoon hours, and you can see, yeah, some storms could develop in that upslope flow. Very warm regime heading into tonight. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see some areas, especially in the mountains and foothills, see some scattered storms develop um, as we go into the evening, but mainly just rain. We're not looking at anything severe. As we get into the overnight hours, um, clouds increasing on your Thursday. Again, pretty warm day. If the sun does break out on Thursday, we likely could see temperatures approaching record highs in the upper 80s. But I think it's all going to be at the cloud cover that develops. So the front starts pushing in late tomorrow. Again, this is 6 p.m. Let me let me go back a little bit because during the day tomorrow, there's probably not going to be much in the way of storms. Um, you can see by 6 p.m., the area that we're seeing a couple storms, mountains and foothills, maybe down into northern Georgia. So this line is much more of a broken line, much more scattered than what we've seen with some of the previous um, storms to the west. And you can see the front kind of stalls across the area. So overall, not looking at a huge risk of severe weather, but by Friday morning, the front is stalled. And what's happening as this is going on, high pressure is building to the north. This is cool, dry air trying to move down. The front gets stuck here as a wave of low pressure develops and then heads this direction. We get that overrunning. And so you see just cloudy, gloomy weather developing for Friday morning. And boy, Friday is going to be one of those days. The front looks like it's all the way down here at this point. And this is just uh, the wedge. The wedge is building in. And ugh, ugh, that is Friday afternoon. That, that's looking ugly. And temperature is likely falling very quickly. Uh, just a heads up for folks down to Masters. I mean, Friday is definitely going to be a day we'll watch for scattered storms. But it gets worse as we go into the weekend. And we'll look into the weekend because this area is going to be really, really cold. Yeah, let's look at the temperatures. So you see how warm it is ahead of that front. We'll go through time. Boy, really warm day today and again tomorrow as the front gets closer. We'll go into tomorrow morning. Um, and again, there's the front, but we're going to be ahead of it on Thursday. So pretty warm conditions across the southeast. But watch the cold air start to drift in tomorrow night into Friday morning. So I'm going to stop this early Friday morning. I mean, look at that air um, coming down. These are temperatures in the 50s and even 40s not too far away. We go through time and we get into Friday and that rain is around. I mean, look at these temperatures. Oh, that is going to be a miserable cold rain. And that kind of gets locked in. You can see the wedge kind of set up here. The front is down in here and we've got that northeast wind. And that is really setting the stage for what is going to be a pretty cold stretch of weather this weekend with rain on top of it. We'll take a look at the long range future cast here of the rain, but this is kind of the pattern. That's the wedge of cold air. Cool, dry air getting pushed in from the south. The stalled front here with the overrunning. That just makes for some yucky weather Friday into Saturday. So we have to take a look at the longer range future cast. So, you know, we're on Friday here. You know, we're going into the weekend. Um, you know, this is, you know, Friday is the 7th. So the 8th is Saturday morning. This is Saturday, 8 a.m. The wave of low pressure forms along the old front. It tracks along the stalled front at the same time. We still got that northeast wind. And Saturday, ugh, 
that's two o'clock in the afternoon, that's five o'clock. Some drier air tries to work in by late Saturday. So Sunday morning, sunrise services, maybe a little bit of improvement, but what I think is gonna happen here is with the stalled front to the south and that northeast wind, we're probably not gonna see heavy rain for Easter Sunday, likely drizzle or mist, but it does look a little bit better on Sunday um, than Saturday. So Saturday, definitely the uglier of the two days with that chance of you know some better weather as we go into Sunday. So again, keeping an eye on that severe weather risk for tomorrow, though the risk overall is incredibly low. This is definitely going to be a day that we'll watch for maybe just some ugly weather developing in the evening and then Friday, Saturday, not the greatest of weather before we see maybe some better weather for Easter. Keep your fingers crossed, but I will tell you Saturday is the worst day of the upcoming week.